been to Melbourne once before, and um, now I uh, am obsessed with it. It's so full of culture. I saw that. I read that I on your it. Twitter at yeah. Katy Perry. Yeah. And uh, follow me on Twitter. K A T Y Perry. That's right. You're on nine hundred thousand followers now. Sometimes, whenever I go out. Um, well, usually not when I'm on tour, but whenever I'm out and I'm celebrating and I, you know, have a couple of drinks, my friend will take away my phone because in fear of me, me buzz twittering. See, that's that's when I think the best tweets come. Yeah, probably actually. Do you know what I mean? Are there any tweets that you have done and you think, my God, that was a good tweet? Actually, when I went number one, because Miley Cyrus was twittering about, I mean, she, she God bless her heart, because I'm at 15 or 16. I was probably the same, you know, really uh, dramatically, if emotionally affected by boys as she probably is right now. And she Twitters all about it all the time. She does. She's yeah. always like, stop breaking my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. So I just like wrote no more emo Twittering. It's a bit different being a guy than when you're growing up to a girl, I think. Yeah, girls, I feel like we feel very intensely everything. Yeah, well, I'm learning that listening to your <laughs> album, uh, One of the Boys. For me, my take on it is that guys are not stepping up to the plate or they're not meeting your, That's I suppose, true. Um, criteria. You know, that's a, a, a really good um, way of seeing it because I think that probably was somewhat true when I was writing those songs is like, you know, dudes not being able to step up to the plate or I don't know, I guess I was looking for someone stronger than me because I'm such a strong personality in, in the first place and, and very headstrong. And what is a guy, I mean, you know, these guys who are not stepping up to the plate, for a guy to step up to the plate, what does he need to do to date Katy Perry? Me? In, in real life. In real life? In real life, not fantasy. Sense of humor is probably the m most important thing to me. You know, if like after like a long day of, of work or, or what have you, being able to laugh about the stupidest things, yeah. you know, or like growing old with somebody and like going to the park bench and, and people watching and laughing at like the ridiculous jog suits that some people wear, you know, yeah, together. Yeah, just yeah. like And like, you know, you said growing old. When I think growing old, I think of that classic cliche movie, The Notebook. You know, oh my God. <laughs> That's my favorite movie ever. <laughs> Is it, it's your favorite movie? <laughs> One of my favorite movies for sure. All love should be like that. No, I know some guys and some girls who don't even cry in that movie. You know, do you shed a tear? Surely you must. Um, okay, I watched it last year for the first time, and I remember exactly where I was. I was somewhere in Florida, and literally I went through, like, two tissue boxes and, like, was like, I can't breathe. Yeah. I can't breathe. <laughs> Someone take me to the hospital. Yeah. I can't breathe. I've yeah. got so much snot in my lungs. Yeah. I can't breathe. <laughs> now, my colleague Mick Malloy, he's actually going on a date on Monday, okay? Oh, really? Now, you speak about sense of humor. He's a very funny man. Okay. He's a comedian. Uh, he's going on a date with a girl called a Taze, and they're going on a rickshaw. Is it going to be a long date? I think about an hour. So oh, okay. wow. So do you have any tips for Mick? Because I know that he'd, uh, he'd love some sort of advice on this section. Well, I mean, he should he should just be a great conversationalist. Let the person get to know them, you know? Ask her what she likes. Ask her where she came from. Everybody likes to know where they came from. you got to just kind of like lay a foundation and not expect too much. Exactly right. Mick's been single for about 30 years. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. Something's so, um, wrong. Hopefully Mick, take that advice on board from Katy Perry. Yeah. Done. Katy Perry, thank you very much. And the album, One of the Boys. Check it out, please. No problem. I'm going to go and make a new record, though, for you right now. Right now. After I leave Melbourne, yeah. I'm going to go into the studio and make a new record. I'm excited. Look forward to it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Katy. Bye.